Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today in this video, I'm going to explain how you can integrate Recaptcha with your contact forms to avoid getting spam or bots going through your website and filling up these forms that you don't want. It's a tool is called Recaptcha from Google that integrates with your contact forms in Elementor Pro. So if you want to know more, watch this tutorial and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is just going here to your dashboard in WordPress and then we go in through the section is called Elementor. Inside of settings, this is what we need to go. Uh, you will see there is a tab in there that is say integrations. So in here in integrations, let me go here. You will see that you have a bunch of integrations that Elementor can um, integrate of course but you one of them is recapture so in here that if you access to recapture you just go to google and type recapture it will go here so we just need to go through this option and say b3 admin console and in order to, to create the um new recapture right as you can see here i have my dashboard that you can see the request pass and fails and different options for the um Recaptured, so you go here on the right side and you will see that it is a uh, create button, right? So, in the plus, I don't see if you see it, but as you can see here, is a plus, right? So, we just need to press create and it will take you to register a new site, okay? So, here it will be the label, so we can put like a uh, recaptured, right? Or the name of the website, and uh, that's it. I put this now as a test and you got two options so the score base depends what's the api in here for the you will see that the information is not there but i'll just tell you quickly so the score base is depends how is the api of the user coming from right it will be in base or the score that they have right you can avoid or you can cut them the access to your website okay that is called b3 or the typical challenge that is called i'm not a robot is a challenge that you put on to these forms right invisible recapture this is a budget too here for the background that you can use but this option i'm not a robot is the most common one so as you can see the next one is at the domain that we are going to use in that case it would be my domain in here right and then i'm just copy and paste in here just one more thing you need to remove that because now if i submit in here you will see the say is invalid and the reason is because you just need to add the domain so remove the https okay and also this dash in here and that's it okay so if you submit you will see that now it provides these keys right so keep these keys as safe in here but at the moment i'm just going to use and after remove right copy this side and then copy side key you go back and then you paste it in say side key right so it will be here paste and the same for the secret key okay so you paste in here secret key and that's it that's all so we just need to save and it will be done so the next step that we need to do it will be going and use recaptcha in your forms how are you going to do that so for instance i'll show you i'm just going to the side and i'm going to the contact us and i have a form here so you need to go and edit the form and add this option so if you press and edit the element the, the form as you can see here right edit form uh, you will see that now what we need to do, sorry, going back, what we need to do is add the item, right? So I'm just going to go here and then add, add item. And if you see the type in here, right, I'm just going to go closer and then you will see that you have an option, it's called recapture. So as soon as you add recapture, now you see that the uh, I'm not a robot function EAPS, right? So you can call it here as a label, right? But here is fine. You can also put a different uh, size, compact or normal, or also the style like dark or uh, light. I prefer light because it match with my background color. Okay, so that, that's it. Update. 
So that it will protect your site from all the spam and all these, you know, bots that go in there and then send you a lot of, uh, you know, inquiries that you don't want and fill up the form. Okay. All right. So thank you for watching. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video.